pneumatic control system. We have our three two valve on the top, which is taking pressure from our manifold into here. This is our overall safety control for the circuit. So with that turned off, nothing will work. Turn that back on, our circuit will fire. So the inlet there is port one. Coming out of port two, you'll see this blue line travels down into port one on our 5-2 valve uh, at the bottom here. Now, you'll also notice our two position switches here, our two roller position switches. These are controlling the cylinder when it goes out and automatically return it in. So when it goes out, it will return in. When it comes in, it will send back out. These are... What do you think? <laughs> So we have, from our T-piece here, you'll notice from our manifold, we have pressure through a T-piece into port one on both of our control valves. When the left hand, micro switch, position switch, limit switch, left hand limit switch is made, it will open up the bottom of the limit switch to allow this pressurized air into the left hand pilot of our five way two position five four valve. Um, left hand pilot air pressure moves the shuttle across, applies pressure to this end of the cylinder. So position switch is made, shuttle moves across, this pressurized air from your manifold, from your switch, will return the cylinder in. Likewise, the same is happening on our right hand switch. So, when the right hand limit switch, so the in limit switch is made, our pressurised air through our TP, through port one, is allowed to flow through into the right hand pilot, moving the shuttle across. When the shuttle moves to the left, our pressurised air through the manifold, through the control switch, is sent to this side. Now, you'll notice it's the cylinder is extending and retracting quite slowly under full pressure. This is because we have res flow restrictors on both lines into it. So we can control the speed out and we can control the speed in.